Good morning. Welcome family and friends. As Vice President for Student Affairs and Chair of the Commencement Committee, it is my privilege to announce the arrival of the graduating class of 2021. The candidates for the baccalaureate degrees.
Ladies and gentlemen, the faculty of William and Mary. Please join me in welcoming the official party led by our rector, John Littell. Please rise as you are able for the National Anthem of the United States of America.
Thank you for that beautiful song, Ms. Colon Flores. Good morning. Please be seated. Welcome to the fifth of six commencement ceremonies to celebrate the great class of 2021. <laughs> Graduates, you have so much to be proud of. You have adapted in the face of unprecedented challenges. You have persevered and you have earned your degree. Parents, families, friends, we are so happy to have you back on campus here today together, even in the gentle spring warmth of a Virginia morning. There is water all around the stadium, so please use it when you need it. Stay hydrated. Members of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, we are delighted to have you bear witness to the fruits of an extraordinary education. Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Members of the William and Mary faculty and staff all around the stadium, you have transformed research, learning, teaching in the midst of pandemic. You have kept our grads on track to their diplomas. Please stand. Thank you. For centuries, William and Mary graduates have served on our nation's armed forces with distinction. This weekend, the United States Army commissioned 11 William and Mary students. Receiving William and Mary degrees this weekend are 124 active duty, reserve, or military veterans. Would all military personnel and veterans, including anyone in this stadium currently serving or who has served, please stand for our thanks. Thank you for your service to our nation. William and Mary's Royal Charter of 1693 establishes the position of Chancellor. William and Mary's current Chancellor is the Honorable Robert M. Gates, class of 1965. Chancellor Gates served as Secretary of Defense, Director of the CIA, and President of Texas A&M University. He has served under eight U.S. Presidents and is the only Secretary of Defense to have served under presidents of both political parties. He models the highest ideals of public service that sustain democracy in the 21st century. Chancellor Gates joins us virtually. Thank you, Catherine. To the class of 2021, congratulations. You have survived the strangest senior year in living memory. The last exam has been taken, the final paper submitted. The registrar has double checked and yes, you have indeed made it through one of the most rigorous educations in the world. In the midst of a global pandemic, no less. To the parents and families of the class of 2021, congratulations. You have much to, of which to be proud and you have much to celebrate. The last tuition check has cleared. However, for you parents contemplating newly available disposable income, forget it. The National Bank of Mom and Dad never closes. Director Littell and the board, thank you for your leadership during this latest test of William and Mary's resilience. To President Rowe, thank you for steering our university through the storms of the pandemic. I have no doubt that this chapter of William & Mary's storied history will be remembered with pride for the resilience, determination, and yes, the courage this campus community has shown over the past 15 months. For 328 years, William & Mary has prepared its graduates to engage in the open exchange of ideas and to seek wisdom in bridging differences. That engagement is a core element of a William & Mary education. Today, these qualities are all too rare. We are in a period in our country's history marked by too much shouting and too little listening, too much ego and self-certainty, and too little humility and open-mindedness. 
To overcome the challenges our nation and world face requires a willingness to listen and to learn. As graduates of this university, you have a responsibility to defend and perfect our democracy, to keep perfecting and reshaping it. Noting the extraordinary manner in which the class of 2021 has coped with incredible obstacles already, I have no doubt you are up to this challenge. The legacy of service, of making a difference for our country and for our fellow citizens, is the oldest and greatest tradition of this ancient institution, this alma mater of a nation. That shared legacy is what makes this home so special for all of us, so worth cherishing for a lifetime. As you graduate today, know that you too will meet this challenge and are destined to make a difference. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you, Chancellor Gates. It is now my privilege to welcome to the podium William and Mary's rector, John Littell. Thank you, President Rowe. On behalf of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, let me congratulate this year's graduating class. You have accomplished a great deal under trying circumstances. Your resilience, coupled with the commitment and hard work of our faculty and staff, got you to this point. Be proud and ever grateful to those who supported you here and at home for this remarkable achievement. At this point in the ceremony, William and Mary confers honorary degrees, a tradition dating back to 1756. Like everything else about this ceremony, this year is a little bit different. In 2021, William and Mary presents honorary degrees to accomplished artist Faith Ringgold and U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. We are pleased to bring the honorary degree ceremony to you virtually. Afterwards, Dr. Ringgold and Dr. Kennedy will each offer greetings to the class of 2021. William and Mary, conferred its first honorary degree in 1756 to innovator, writer, and statesman Benjamin Franklin. It is fitting that this year we honor an artist, author, activist, and icon known for her innovative artistry and for advancing equity. Faith Ringgold, your creative powers have broken so many boundaries in innovative and redemptive ways. Born in 1930, you grew up amid the flourishing of the Harlem Renaissance. You learn to sew and work with fabrics from your mother, a fashion designer. With her encouragement, the material arts became your passion. You enrolled at the City College of New York in 1950. You have shared that you appreciated your education, but it also taught you just what was missing. The curriculum included nothing on African and African-American art. Undeterred, you pursued that education yourself. You earned a bachelor's degree in fine art and education in 1955 and began your career embracing many roles, mother, teacher, student, artist. You gained acclaim for your African style masks, political posters and quilts. You have written and illustrated beloved children's books and you have advanced racial integration in the New York City art world. You penned a memoir, We Flew Over the Bridge, in 1995. In recent years, you've innovated in yet another new medium, inventing Quiltudoku, a game app that elevates Sudoku through color and pattern. Your artworks grace the world's most renowned museums and galleries, you have been recognized with more than 80 awards, including a National Endowment for the Arts Award, a Guggenheim Fellowship for Painting, and an NAACP Image Award. Your children's book, Tar Beach, is a Caldecott Honor Book, and it received the Coretta Scott King Award for illustration, both so well-deserved. In a 2020 New York Times interview, you said, 
I'm always thinking about what can be better. Through your artwork, you have changed the world for the better. You have triumphed. Faith Ringgold, your talent is extraordinary and our university is proud to honor you both for your creativity and the change you have led. With the authority vested in me by the ancient world charter of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Congratulations to all of you, especially at this time when we have so much happening in the world today. But you will survive it. You will go out and do the best things that you can. With you will combat the world with your education from this wonderful college. Anyone can fly. All you got to do is try. I am very pleased to be here with you. Thank you very, very much for having me. William & Mary has long been known as the alma mater of the nation. So it is fitting this year that we honor a leader who has strengthened the bedrock of our democracy through an unwavering commitment to impartial and fair judging. Anthony McLeod Kennedy, your career is renowned. The 104th justice to serve on the United States Supreme Court, you have promoted civic education in this nation and abroad and advanced the rule of law to uphold equality and human rights. Born in Sacramento, California, you learned about civic affairs from your attorney father and teacher mother. Your interest in government ignited at an early age and you served as a page in the California State Senate. You earned your Bachelor of Laws from Harvard Law School. You served in the California Army National Guard and then launched your career in public practice before becoming a professor of constitutional law at the McGeorge School of Law, University of the Pacific. In 1975, you were appointed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit by President Gerald Ford. Then in 1988, President Reagan nominated you as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, and you were unanimously confirmed by the United States Senate. You assumed senior status as a federal judge in 2018. During your tenure on the court, yours was often the pivotal vote alongside fellow Reagan nominee and former William & Mary Chancellor, Sandra Day O'Connor. Among the consequential opinions you handed down, you strengthened free expression and authored the majority opinion to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. Your unwavering commitment to the Constitution has been lauded so often as it should be. You embraced the role of teacher, calling the next generation into a deeper understanding of the ideals of democracy in all these ways. You exemplify the crucial role of the judiciary and the importance of neutral jurisprudence for the nation. Anthony Kennedy, your steadfast service to democratic principles has sustained our country through many trials. It is most fitting that the alma mater of the nation should honor you. With the authority vested in me by the ancient royal charter of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Kennedy. President Rowe, Rector Lytell, and members of these graduating classes who give me the privilege of joining you today in receiving this acclaimed degree. This honor will be treasured by my family and me for years to come. And it is of special significance that we receive it at a time when you graduate at a point where our country needs you more than the country has needed students for many, many years. 
The charter of William and Mary in 1693 states that the college is to study divinity, philosophy, languages, and other good arts and sciences. Notice the use of the term good. It has an ethical, a moral, a value-laden connotation. Do not be discouraged from using words, from following conduct, from adopting principles that have an ethical underpinning. This ultimately is what democracy means and what freedom seeks. There is dignity in debate. There is decency in discourse. There is discovery in discussing together ways to find new truths, new insights. This was well known and understood by some of the graduates who preceded you here, Professor George Wythe, Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, Henry Clay, and now by you. To be here on the campus for just a few minutes, for just a few moments, is to experience what you have had the privilege of experiencing each day for years. That is to experience what it is like to be in a place that is a treasury, a treasury of new ideas, a treasury of new traditions, a treasury of dreams ready to be found, ready to be explored. And this you must do. This you must do as you find new ideas, new thoughts, new dreams for a new and better world. This you can do because of your experience here. This you can do because of your commitment to the rule of law and to the idea of freedom. And this you must do so that the rest of the world can look here to William and Mary, can look here to the United States, can look to you to see what freedom, to see what dignity, to see what liberty can and ought to mean. Again, thank you and congratulations. It is our tradition at commencement to honor accomplishments of exceptional faculty, staff, and students. This year, William & Mary presents six university awards to our community. You can read more about our recipients in the program. The Lord Botetourt Medal, established in 1772, goes to the graduating senior with the greatest distinction in scholarship. The 2021 medal was presented to John Charles Kiner yesterday. Our next award is named for James Frederick Carr, a student who came to William & Mary in 1914, served with distinction in the First World War, and lost his life before he could return. The James Frederick Carr Memorial Cup goes to a graduating senior who best combines the qualities of character, scholarship, and leadership. This year, the Carr Cup is awarded to Abram Clear. Maria Donahue Velika, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, will present the award. Mr. Clear, would you please come forward? <laughs> Abram Clear was a 2021 Rhodes Scholarship finalist. His senior honors thesis focused on the dialect of the Appalachian Mountains. He has served as co-president of the Rainbow Coalition, vice president of the university's Omicron Delta Kappa Honor Society, president of the Linguistics Club, and has worked as a graphics student assistant in the library's special collections. Congratulations, Mr. Clear. Our graduate and professional school prize is named for Margaret the Lady Thatcher, who served as the 21st Chancellor of William and Mary. The award goes to a graduate or professional student of outstanding scholarship, service, and character. The Thatcher Award was given to Joseph Matt yesterday. In memory, in memory of Algernon Sidney Sullivan, the New York Southern Society recognizes two students of the graduating class and one other person with close ties to William and Mary for heart, mind, 
and helpfulness to others. We honored graduating senior Sonia Kinkabwala, graduating law student Nicholas Ajavi Arma, and Chief Technology Officer Corinne Pekitagi yesterday. Also yesterday, William and Mary honored two faculty members and two staff members. The Graves Award for Sustained Excellence in Teaching was presented to Judith B. Harris and Robert J. Latour. The Duke Award, in recognition of outstanding staff, was given to Wendy D. Urbano and Darlene O. White. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce our undergraduate commencement speaker, Divya Dureja. Ms. Dureja graduates with a Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies and a minor in Biochemistry. She has served as director of Camp Kesem, William and & Mary, and has a passion for creating inclusive communities on campus. Please join me in welcoming Divya Dureja to the podium. I came into college with the cloud of ambition hanging over my head, and I wanted it to materialize as quickly as possible. I had 1,460 days to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and how that decision would benefit the rest of the world. As you've gathered, freshman year Divya was just a little bit melodramatic. Four years later, however, my time is up and I still don't have the answers to those questions. As the last year has forced so many of us to reevaluate our lives, I thought I would share my quick two-step beginner's guide on how to adult, graduating college without panicking. Number one, traditions, like rules, are meant to be broken. 100 years ago, it was traditional for our beloved campus to be occupied exclusively by white men. Since then, we have made strides in our efforts to create a more inclusive campus environment, to make sure everyone belongs in this tribe, in this family. This change is first and foremost championed by you, the students, who protested every Saturday for nine months, complying with social distancing and mask requirements to stand with black lives. This change is championed by our educators, who have worked tirelessly to accommodate students no matter where they are, whether that be at home, on campus, or logging into Zoom class while literally on a ski lift. I urge you to use the coming months of uncertainty to continue taking the non-traditional paths and breaking the glass ceilings above you. Graduating to an economy where jobs are down and GameStop is way up, we have absolutely nothing to lose. Number two, education is humbling. Many of us have spent the past year learning new words. My freshman roommate, for example, is an economics major, and she recently asked me what exactly mRNA is. Thank you, Intro Biology, for making me feel like the Dr. Fauci of this campus. Others learned about words like racial inequity, privilege, and racism in a new light. While our time at William Mary is ending, I urge you to continue chasing education. So much of learning at college happens outside of the classroom. Like learning, you absolutely will get a staph infection if you jump in the crim dough. I urge you to champion spaces for further learning in the graduate programs, companies, and other institutions you attend or work for. Today, some of you will be the first in your family to have graduated from college. Today, some of you will have shattered people's expectations of your capabilities. Today, almost all of us will have in some way broken down economic, racial, and social barriers in pursuit of a higher education. This community has nurtured a space for us to think critically, challenge peacefully, and break out of our comfort zones. The humility required for this level of authentic discourse is the necessary product of an education, and I urge you to cultivate it in your future communities. So pause for a second this weekend and ask yourself, how have you pushed for change when you saw the potential for benefit? How have you redefined your path and inspired others to do the same? When I first came to William & Mary, I thought I would have so much of an impact on this school that by the time I graduated, there would be a plaque of my face hanging outside of the Wren Building. Needless to say, 
it's not there. But four years later, my ego has shrunk and my appreciation for the simple acts of talking to people, sharing ideas, and lifting each other up has grown. You do not have to rebuild PBK brick by brick to have an influence on this campus. In this moment of uncertainty, the closing of our William Mary chapter, celebrate your personal growth, big or small, and thank the people that helped you get here. To my fellow graduates, I say this with the utmost confidence in each of you. Carry forward that fire that burns in all of us to break tradition, chase learning, and champion change. Class of 2021, we have withstood a simply absurd year. But today, you have prevailed. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Dereja, for those powerful words. Some things we do this weekend we could have not imagined even a few weeks ago. Parents and friends are here with us. Some things this weekend are unique. We have six graduation ceremonies rather than one. Some things are sweeter than ever before, celebrating together in person, hearing each graduate's name called. For everyone in our community, the successes that brought our graduates to this moment have been hard won. You earned them through grit and perseverance, despite loss and grief, with the support of friends and so many others along the way. Care for others through service, through mutual commitment, has been a hallmark of William & Mary this year. William and Mary ran more than 63,000 COVID tests this year. We had nearly 100% compliance with mask wearing on campus and in our off-campus community. William and Mary students supported that culture in Williamsburg and our region, helping to bring positivity rates down quickly when you return to campus. Our students reported a 97% voting rate in the 2020 election. And nearly 2,000 students' employees logged 4,300 hours of community service in our region. <laughs> Under pandemic, we have been called to rethink, redesign every tradition and ceremony, every activity, every assumption about how William Mary teaches, learns, works, and convenes day by day. This year has stretched and changed us in ways that we are still discovering. We have used the word unprecedented so many times, accurately. Yet the truth is, years like this will come again for you and for our nation. When they do, you will need to call on the capacities that you have grown at William & Mary. Your grit, your capacity to persist in the face of challenges from socially distanced performances to Zoom study groups and co-curricular events. Your ability to tolerate uncertainty all year when the future was full of risk amidst predictions that we would fail, learning to live with ambiguity and benefit from it is one of the greatest gains of a liberal arts and sciences education. And your ability to win out despite these doubts to craft the best learning experiences that you could and find companions through trial and transformation. As a university, we have come to understand what the philosopher Hannah Arendt called the imperative to think what we are doing, to be deeply mindful of how we go about our daily work and why at every moment. We've learned how to conquer our fears for the sake of our shared commitments to protect the health and safety of those who are most vulnerable. I remember listening to the Wren bell ring on an empty campus last year. This spring, on each last day of classes, the Wren bell rang out so strong and clear as you celebrated the courage it took to sustain this community all year. Graduates, trust in those capacities and that courage. You can be confident that you are ready to be called on again. You have the capacities that you will need, that your communities will need, that this nation and that the world will need. Grit, adaptability, 
commitment to others. These are your superpowers for the rest of your lives. William and Mary will always remember this class and what we accomplished together. And now it is my pleasure to welcome Provost Peggy Agoras so that we can begin what you have all been waiting for, the conferral of degrees for the amazing class of 2021. Thank you, President Rowe. We will begin the process of conferring earned degrees. This weekend, William and Mary graduates the seventh class from our joint degree program with St. Andrews University in Scotland. Next month, the joint degree program graduates will receive the St. Andrews portion of their degree to become full alumni of both universities. Graduates of the joint degree program with St. Andrews, please stand. Please be seated, thank you. Membership in honor societies at William and Mary demonstrates exceptional pursuit of academic excellence. Please stand if you have been inducted to Phi Beta Kappa, Mortar Board, Omicron Delta Kappa, or Beta Gamma Sigma. Please be seated, thank you. There are 1620, 1,620 total candidates for the baccalaureate degrees this weekend. Several candidates join us virtually. When your name is called, we invite you to stand as you are able so that we may honor you. The deans will present the baccalaureate candidates by major. Lawrence B. Poli, Dean of the Mason School of Business, will present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. There are four Bachelor of Business Administration majors graduating with us today. Accounting. Business Analytics, Finance, and Marketing. Associate Dean Ken White will now come to the podium and call the names of our Bachelor of Business Administration graduates, beginning with accounting. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in accounting, please come forward as your name is called. Margo Jana Rayner. Sophia Ana Naranjo. Hannah Studen. Brianna Nicole Rackley. Sophia Serena Anabolsi. Simran Mahan. Anna Jude Thorell. Robert Tadona. Camille Elizabeth Albers. Andrew Paul Rath. Jonah Lemieux. Jonathan Tate Cantwell. Alexandra Cook, Hope Haley Skelly, Sophie Morris, Jack Spencer, Gavin James Anderson, 
Stephen Daigle, Spencer Zulo, Tucker Streichars, Jonathan William Shapiro, Jacob King Johnston, William With Michael, Merrick Aleem, Luke Benjamin Wills, Valeria Diaz Rojas, Elizabeth Maria Tangalia St. Arnal, Shepard McLaughlin Green, Daniel Thomas Solomon, Gage Vincent Herdman, Riley Oscar Fox, Griffin Gilder, Eric Zickelbauer, Sam Golan, Irene Rose McLaughlin, Sophia Sonny, Sarah Jane Haggerty, Kelsey Patricia Hamer, Mariana Hirschner, Bailey Brooke Eichner, Al Hassan Oof, David Hogarth. Justin Pearson, Randall M. Prosperi, Nicholas J. Kamali, Ricky Lee, Aristides Sparris, Devin Martin McNulty, Otto Wilhelm Wattner IV, Jack Donahue Buckley, Alejandro Allegra Gonzalez, Garrett Curtis, James Elias Mostafi, Daniel S. Ra, Matthew James Hill. Lauren McDermott, Michael David Godot, Tara Nicole Tiernan, Diana Lee Tramontano, Christopher Terrence Fuel, Finbar H. Talcott. Sebastian Kiros, Vittoria Bolesky Okianama, Sarah Harriet Greenberg, Nicholas Robert Mack, Ignis Vismontis, Luke Thomas Loriano. Jennifer Rose Merrill Ankney. Laura Francis Williams. Jasmine Nicole Fowler. Taylor Marie Rubal. Emily Bianca Acra. Melanie Rose DeCanio. Vanessa Guzman. Will Tucker Parker, Sarah Margaret Brown, John V. Patel, Megan Leanne Brunick, Elizabeth Ann Mitchell,
Jiron DeHart Rodriguez. Ian Mackay Creelman. Evangeline Ruth Hodgson. Teresa Mary Rona. Tatiana Montez. Devin Elise Fleischman. Jason Christopher Wright. Kelly Montiche Cook, Jr. Michael Grayson Fairbanks. Traylon Thornton. Maceo Damar Sexton, Jr. Tatsiana Viktorovna Drake. Eliza Guzman Saseda. Christopher Charles Scripp. Christopher T. Knudsen. Emily Ann Peterson. Madison Blair Hauska. Harrison Guo. Michael Berry. Sonny Ahn. Sean Tran. Raman Khanna. Sienna San Nam. Amanda Eileen Skidmore. Danielle Ivilo Stako. Ilana Lee Davidoff. William S. Rue. Madeline Elizabeth Brown. Elizabeth Grabham. Hannah Marie Smith. Lindsay Taylor Smith. Tanen Bayarmagne. Javier Enrique Lopez Membrano. Alexandra Alden Wagner. Samuel James Bonham. Kareem Al Attar. Samson Christian Nygaard. John Sanchez. Patrick Russo. John Edward Rogers. Patrick Lynch. Lauren Nicole Krupful. Lauren Michelle Finicciotis. Michael Spencer Sai. Zachary Skolnekovich. Grace Marie Sullivan. Caroline Grace Bougey. Al Chiesa. Richard Frederick Stockel III. First name, Gia. Gia Clarice Garcia. Catherine Grace Rose Ziegler. Helen Teresa Reinkober. Elizabeth Claire McLaughlin. Catherine Elizabeth Fleet. Abigail Elizabeth Mix. 
Henry James Lowry. Jasper Edwards. Cameron Douglas Faith. Avery Claire McNamee. Catherine Weber. Michael Cribb. Claire Marie Garrity. Robin Gabrielle Breckert. Tristan Savage. Madison Casey Grace Lee. Upasna Shyam Barat. Caleb Sanford. Dina Ray. Danielle Grace Barr. Annabelle Lee Bentley. Theodore Hefter. Ryan Jacob Santilli. Amir Rezazad. Sildi Bajuti. Michael Thomas Frost, Jr. Jarvis Willett Baraday. Michael Harvey Hamilton, Jr. William Waylon Coakley. Clay Harwood Cady. Christopher Sears Mullaney. Alexandra Nicole Museo. Mary Jones. Claire Tara Baker. Zach Schiavo. Thomas O. Palazzo. John Alexander Stephan. Christian Ross Longgood. And we have two graduates who are with us virtually today, Kelsey Patricia Hamer and Ferdinand Makabata. Dean Pulley, those are the recipients of our bachelor's degree in business. Congratulations. Maria Donahue Valeca, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, will present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. I'd like to start by recognizing students earning a baccalaureate in Africana Studies, especially those who have participated in other ceremonies this weekend. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in American Studies, please come forward as your name is called. Carolina Marina St. Adelaide Wasinger. Isaac Beam. How are you? Ava Louise Coles. Lauren Rebecca White. Amy Nadell. Rachel Alexandra Kidd. Woo to American Studies. Yeah. Candidates.
candidates for the baccalaureate in anthropology, please come forward as your name is called. Jack Schreiber. Kat Begansky. Gabriella Isabel Lewis. Lucy Jennifer Isaac. Emily Claire Tinsley. ML Young. Carol Ort. Emily Ruth Richardson. Kristen Ann Cape. Rachel Elizabeth Tomei. Michaela Danielle Applebaum. Margot Ann Cunningham. John Campbell Francis Wuschkowski. Faith Margaret Burke. Congra congratulations to all. One additional virtual graduate from anthropology, Madeline Louise Emmett. Candidates for the baccalaureate in art and art history, please come forward as your name is called. June Austin Hodge. Sarah Lachelle Roberts. Evan Christopher Squires. Leah Miriam Moyer. Hannah Catherine Jordan London. Savannah, Savannah Elizabeth Singleton. Charles J. Parsons. Elizabeth Hilton Earls. Dylan Wilson. And joining us virtual, Catherine Welch. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in classical studies, please come forward as your name is called. Rachel Roth. Jordan Alexandra Solid. Francis Ann Brown. Gabriela Coronado. Jenny Lee DePaul, Madeline Little, Morgan Blackwelder, and Claire Patricia Whelan, and our virtual uh, graduate, Sophia Irene Mornament. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in English, please come forward as your name is called. Oh. <laughs> Emma Faith Buckley. Anna Caroline Burns. Lindsay Merrillet. Catherine Hall.
Bryce Piper. A. J. Giddings. Alexa Victoria Kelly. Olivia Ann Levin. Linda Beth Abigail Doby. Jack Martin Dean. Shauna Min A. Park. Maya Chauvet White. Natalie Therese Keenan. Jonathan Michael Morks. Taryn Marissa McKay. Samantha Joan White. Anthony Sean Madalone. Ella Hadrovich. Shane Michael Gregory Moran. Benjamin Miller Ament. James William LaRocca. Joseph Luke Ritter. Benjamin Albert Wasner. Maud Purinton. Anna Elizabeth Steinmetz. Delaney Jewel Simchuk. Amelia Marie Cardone. John W. Mackey. Michael Clayton Jackson, Jr. Keegan Jean Leety. Chloe Frank. Isabella Marguerite Sophia Miranda. Jane Priya Handa. Moss Davis. Caroline Audra Gant. Kate Lucas. Sarah Grace Jordan. Caroline K. Gates. Christopher Pearson Vaughan. Catherine Morgan Anderson. Grace Eleanor Wilson. Sky Campolongo. Kena Clark. Louise Strange. Jacob Joseph Selner. And we have, I think, five English majors graduating virtually today. Natalie Francois, Nicholas Joseph Issing, Nicholas John Schilling, and Zheng Yu. Congratulations to all the English majors graduating today. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in film and media studies, please come forward as your name is called. Bennett Hayes. Adam Margolis Goodman. Eric Caligiuri. 
Alexis Nicole Mays. Mia Nicole Wilson. Mary Laughlin McCants. Emma Ward. <laughs> Viola Sun. Sarah Elizabeth Morgan. John Bradley Keeley. Sylvie T. Kim Joyner. Maeve Ann Quigley. Sophie Jean Hamilton. Christine Isabel Rosa. We have one graduate remote, Kyung Ho Kate Park. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in gender, sexuality, and women's studies, please come forward as your name is called. Chase Darren Jones. Emily Sophia Bacall. Willa Quinn Moffat. Emma Sherritt. Candidate for the baccalaureate degree in history, please come forward as your name is called. Zachary Earl Clary. Charlie Cray. Jordan Neal Overstreet. Victoria Wren Heiberg. Caitlin Christine Blomo. Byron Ingham Bushara. Jake Thomas Talmadge. Thomas Alexander Brown. Lazaro Cardenas Coffigny. Joseph Park. Maddie Nickel. Carmen Eliza Honker. Sophia Cecilia Navarro Bowman. Maria Torregrosa. Caroline, Caroline Lund Tenike. Sydney Tyler Jasper. Eva Mariam Namutebi Sekibanga. Megan Bull. Zoe Shepherdson Connell. Gavin Joseph Hallisey. Kevin Richard Portofi. <laughs> Sophia Allen Jefferson. Sydney Lucille Angeline Furig. Isabella Lorraine Marie Sheraini. 
Oscar Julian Berlanga. Grace. Grace Ford Dirks. How you do? Kevin Distelo. Amen. Rob Warwick. Jonathan Reed Coven. Rory Oates. Kelly Elizabeth Harrigan. Ryan Joseph Cooper. Emily Boyer. Mackenzie Ray Adkins. Caleb Kofelt. William Benedict Furlong III. Emily Scott. Stephen Prusman. Ephraim David Kozodoy. Claire Nevin. Hi, Claire. Caroline Margaret Asdell. Lydia Jane Mackey. Madeline Claire Sisson. Sarah Marie Clark. Grant William Wong. Grant. Samuel Lytton Nussbaum. Corey Stubanus. Caitlin Grace Snook. Kevin Andrew McGuire. Michael Patrick Britty. Riel Matea Whittle. Hey, Sophie. Sophie Rizieri. Benjamin Marin. Katie Ray Gibson. Colleen Kirkland Rogers. Lindsay Ann Rogers. John Griffin. Samuel Mosquera. Lauren Amelia Wheel. Meredith Rose Jackson. McGowan Virginia Storage. Claudia Faith Santa Ana. Carson Delaney Spencer. Natalie Rose Maines. Natalie L. Ronan. Megan Ward. Gillian Bennett. Maggie Gentry. Bailey Isabella Ward. Matthew Alexander Tanner. Andrew Harrison Porth. Olivia Margaret Wilson. Amelia Lowe. And we have several students graduating virtually. Hannah Lowe, Ethan Thayer, Chifang Yao, Jalu Zhu. Congratulations, history graduates. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in linguistics, please come forward as your name is called.
Abram Wilson Clear. Abram. Abigail Fergus. Devin Edmonds Borden. Natalie Ann Lyman. Madeline Gilliatt Wade. Johanna Lynn Ruzi. Leah Alexandra Shukan. Olivia Rose Kamer. Reagan Elizabeth Jackson. Bobby Joe Elizabeth Carwile. Maureen Elizabeth Gordon. Emma Francis Wise. Irene Williams. Amber C. Blanton. Sydney Page Hamrick. Congratulations to the candidates of the degree of linguistics. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in music, please come forward as your name is called. Sierra Colon Flores. Sierra. Natalie Diane Rowland. Emma Rose Shaheen. Jacob Christopher Tomas Down. Dabney Madison Bird Coleman. Christopher William Barbaro. Evelyn Francis Showalter. Mary Christine Shannon. Cecilia Niece Armstrong. Congratulations to all the music graduates. Oh, I'll go. Thank you. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in philosophy. Please come forward as your name is called. Jack Elliot Craver. Isabella Jane Anderegg. Catherine Elaine Brewster. Brianka White. Gavin Farrell Burkholder. Carlton Barrow Reed III. Katsuki Clevenger. Yuan Gong. Neil James Going. Jacob Beardsley. Harley N. Collett. Catherine Elizabeth Yenzer. Adam Gerhard Salinger Mullen. Sarah Elizabeth Petras. And we have two graduates attending virtually, Yong Kong Kenneth Lee and Brianka Danielle Anitra White. Congratulations, philosophy graduates. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in religious studies, please come forward as your name is called.
James Berry. Potter Kane McKinney. Divya Dureja. Mazarin Allison Iris Rossert. And joining us virtually today, Evelyn Christine Odom. Congratulations to the Religious Studies graduates. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in theater, please come forward as your name is called. Ivy He. Quan Bo Chao. Zoe Bowen Smith, Abir Hasham Ayub, Milani Joy Wright. Congratulations to theater graduates. We will give everyone a chance to get back to their seats. Would all the candidates for the bachelor's degrees please ride together as you are able. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I hereby confer upon each of you as appropriate the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration or Bachelor of Arts. I welcome you into the community of graduates and professionals well prepared to think critically, solve problems collaboratively, and lead positive change in our communities and nations and states. Congratulations! Please be seated. William and Mary prepares public school teachers to serve the Commonwealth and the nation. Would today's graduates who have received teaching certification please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you. William and Mary also has a global reach. Would all of our international students and our graduates who have studied, worked, or served abroad during their time at the university please stand? Thank you. Now please join me in welcoming Marilyn Midyet, Chief Executive Officer of the Alumni Association and William & Mary Alumna of the class of 1975. Thank you, President Rowe. And one more cheer for the class of 2021! <laughs> On behalf of the Wynn and Mary Alumni Association, I am simply delighted to be the first to welcome you as our newest members.
As you step across the threshold from student to alumnus, you join a remarkable and invaluable network of more than 100 alumni strong. Embrace this opportunity to be an active participant. Join your local alumni network, wear that green and gold proudly, and return to campus often for homecoming and reunion weekends. Make it a point to get in the, uh, involved in the Young Guard, and don't hesitate to use those contacts for friendship, fellowship, and networking. And most importantly, please come visit us in our beautiful new alumni house situated directly behind you that serves as a testament to the important role our alumni play in our beloved alma mater. And now graduates, if you'll please join me and stand as we recite the alumni creed, which is going to appear on the screen above me. When you entered, there was an alumni pin on your seat. It was affixed to a card. If you'll please take the pen off the card, and after we recite the creed, not now, but after we recite the creed, please place your pen either on the thin part of your hood or on your robe, whichever is easiest. I'm going to give everybody a minute. We're not going to leave anybody behind. Are you ready? As a graduate of William and Mary, and as a new member of the William and Mary Alumni Association, I pledge to uphold the university's standards of honor, commitment, service, and tradition. I will support and cherish the ideals and values of William and Mary, encouraging others to do so as well, no matter how far from Williamsburg life takes me. Congratulations again, class of 2021. We are five-sixths of the way into our commencement celebration. As you prepare to head out to make this world a better place, please show your care for those who have made this celebration possible and the next graduating group by just looking around your seat and cleaning up where you are. Also, if you would move your vehicle in the next half hour so we can welcome our next families, we would be most grateful. Please rise as you are able and join the choir in singing verses 1 and 4 of the Alma Mater. Lyrics are on page 9 in your program. Hark the students' voices swelling, strong and true and true and clear. Alma Mater's love they're telling, ringing far and near. William and Mary, loved of old, hark upon the air. Hear the thunder of our chorus. platform party, the faculty and the students will recess out of the stadium. Faculty marshals will lead the graduates out of the stadium and you will recess by rows and exit towards Sadler Terrace. Audience, I ask that you please remain in your seats until the recessional has concluded and then swiftly clear the stadium. As you exit, please also observe social distancing so we can ensure the safety of all our guests. Just two more things to do, graduates. As president, I hereby officially declare that the 2020 
2021 session in the 328th year of William and Mary is concluded for you. And then, let's see who's ready. <laughs>